Hi and welcome to another How to Make a Dinosaur post with me, Anthony James, ably assisted by my friend here, Reg the Raptor. Say hello, Reg. Hello, Reg. We're going to make a wonderful creature called an ankylosaur. Now, I've made one here. Here's one we made earlier. Uh, an ankylosaur is a sort of an armoured dinosaur. So this is all obviously made out of rubbish and I'm going to show you how to make this kind of creature. So, the first thing you're going to need is the body, and I'm going to use a plastic bottle for the body. Uh, these are great for making dinosaur bodies. Uh, what you need to do is cover it with some skin. Now, what I need for that is just a bit of newspaper or a bit of scrap paper. I've got a page of newspaper here. Just scrumple it up like that. Open it out to make some nice wrinkly dinosaur skin. And then we're going to stick that to the table with this stuff, masking tape, which is brilliant for making all kinds of models. I've got some very sticky masking tape here, which is brilliant. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to stick it to the table. Now, this table is laminated. Don't do this on a varnished table. Just do it on a laminated table like this. And I'm going to stick it half on and half off. Wallop. That's the magic word, Reg. What's Wallop. the magic word? Wallop. Wallop, that's right. Do it again. Wallop. That's it, and then again, I'm going all the way round, there's no gaps. Pull up. That's it, and again. Oh, when the tape comes off. There you are. Pull up. That's it. And now, choose one corner and very gently pull it off the table. If it rips, don't worry, you can stick it back together again. There we are, just pulling that off gently. And you've essentially made a big sticky patch. So lie that on the table upside down, get your bottle and just roll it on like that. And you've put skin, dinosaur skin, over that bottle like that. It just means it's easier to paint and work on. So there's the body made. Now, what we're going to need on this one is a big tail. So I'm going to use another piece of cardboard here. This is just thin. Uh, cardboard, it could be cereal box cardboard, this is pizza box cardboard. So I'm just going to cut out a really big triangle. Here's a really big triangle, so all the way. Use as much of the cardboard as you can. You just get a bigger tail. And you're cutting out a big triangle and you're going to fold it a bit like a paper aeroplane. So here's a, my big triangle there, so just fold it in half like that, and this is going to make a big, long tail. It's not quite the same on both sides there, so I'm just going to put it so it is. Just makes it neater. Uh, big bit of tape. And stick that half on and half off, like that. Bend it over, and you've got this nice big cone shape which becomes the tail of your dinosaur. I like to cut out a little triangle here, which just gives it sort of a kink and makes the tail bend, a look, bend up a little bit at the back. It just makes it look nicer. So here's another bit of tape just to hold that. And you can see there, look, just it just bends that tail a little bit so it's not just a straight cone. You get that nice, nice shape like that. Now, I'm gonna stick it to our bottle. Um, for this particular creature, like an ankylosaur or even a, a euplocephalus, which is the same kind of dinosaur, what we're going to do is stick the tail over the bottle part here, the top of the bottle there. Uh, I'm just going to put that on there like that, and then just put your tape round like that and stick it on. No real technique to that, just do it, just put your tape on there. And uh, it's stuck, we're done. And that is the first part of the build. Now what we can do is we're gonna change this now. Um, I like on this particular make to make a curved shell to our ankylosaurus. Ankylosauruses were armored, so this we're gonna make sort of an armored tortoiseshell sort of thing. And we do that with just another piece of cardboard like this. This is one of my favorite techniques. This I call the pizza pizza Big Mac. And you'll see why in a minute. Oh, I could do with a Big Mac. I'm sure, there we go. I'm gonna cut a rugby ball shape out. Can be a circle, but just in this particular build, I'm just gonna make it a rugby ball, just cause I've got quite a long bottle. So, that's our round shape. So say that's the pizza part of the pizza, pizza, Big Mac. 
Now we cut out a triangle, a little bit of a bend to it, another triangle, just a little bit of a bend to it. Get your masking tape, two pieces. And now you just stick those together. So we've got that shape there, look, and we just pull it together like that. We do it again like that and we sort of make a tortoise shell turtle shell shape and that's going to make the round back of your dinosaur like that now that one's a little bit big well if it's a bit big you just cut it down a bit like that look so don't worry if it's a little bit big put it down until it fits better and that fits better i'm going to stick that on and then i'll show you what to do next and there is the body and the tail made, and there's that lovely shell shape attached. Now, legs, Eupolocephalus and Kylosaurus have got four legs, so what I'm going to do, just going to squeeze a toilet roll. Toilet rolls are brilliant for making uh, models, and particularly dinosaurs, they make great legs. Just cut out a triangle out the middle, big, long, thin, sharp triangle like that, and then get some tape and just stick it together in the middle like that and it'll sort of make a little knee. Put your tape round to hold the knee and then, and this is a great bit, just get your tape, put it all the way around the top of your leg, half on and half off and just go snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap, snip. Open that out to make a lovely flower shape, just like that, look. And that flower is a sticky flower and it will stick to your dinosaur, just like that. And then you can decide to press it down. Luckily, I have some here I've made earlier, ready to be able to just stick these straight on to show you that you put your legs on, just like that. One, two, three. Uh, sorry, Reg. And, oh, so there's your legs, all attached. Those petals, just press them all down. There's your dinosaur standing up, it's as easy as that. Those legs are on. The legs people find very hard, actually, I think they're quite easy. Now, here's the head. The best thing about the head is it's sort of already made on this. I've got here an egg box, and it's one of the egg boxes that are hinged at the back here. There are other egg boxes that are hinged the other way. It's better to use this one. It's got a little notch here at the front. Just cut that off. And there is your head. How to stick that on? Just get a big bit of tape, like that. Put it across the middle of the two boxes, like that. Press it on so it's attached. Go to the front of your dinosaur and just literally stick it on. So I'm gonna pull that tape tight here and Reg what are you doing Reg <laughs> stop it Reg and I'm just going to pull it tight there look and you can see that's attached the head straight away like that now around this neck bit here it can be a bit weak and a bit difficult if you want to make sure it's going to stay there get some tape roll it up into a sticky ball and just patch that any holes that you can see with these little sticky balls of tape. And then you can just put some little bits of tape over the top. I'll do that in a little while. But right now, I'm just gonna show you very quickly now how to put the eyes on. The eyes, I use little bottle tops, look here. Uh, you can use any kind of bottle top, it's up to you. I just have found these, so I'm gonna use these, basically. So, uh, you tired, Reg? You've been up very late. Mm. Oh dear. Right, I'm just going to get a bit of tape round there. A lot of children just stick tape over the top like that. What's the point? You wouldn't see them. So instead of doing that, put your tape very gently all the way round the outside. And we basically do what we did when we stuck the legs on, but we're doing it with the eyes. So, bit of tape there. Snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap, snip. If you can't do that, 
or find it very difficult, it's more likely to be the scissors than you. Just check your scissors aren't very old and aren't actually coming together properly. If they come together properly, they'll cut the tape. If they don't come together properly, they won't. There's my little petals. And the trick with this is if you've got a uh, egg box here for six eggs, stick the eye on the middle one there, just sticking out a bit, like that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the other one and I'm just going to reinforce that neck uh, and I'll do that and I'll come back shortly. Right, as you can see there, we now have our eyes and our legs all attached. And I've just strengthened the neck up by putting a bit more tape on just to make sure it's uh, secure. Now, oh, that's a lovely dinosaur shape in itself and could be lots of other different kinds of dinosaurs. But right now we'll carry on making, me, making this one into an ankylosaur. To do that, you need another toilet roll, squidge it, cut from one corner to the other to make two sort of horn shapes. Now, ankylosaurs have quite sharp horns right at the back of their heads, pointing outwards at the side. So that's why we put the eyes on the middle egg part of our egg box. And that's, can you see, I've just cut that toilet roll from corner to corner, and I'm just using the two bits that are left, sticking them together to make two sharp pointy horns. And these will go now just on those egg bits that we've left at the back. So just on there and there, like that. How we do that, again, is Reggie's favourite bit. All of them. Which, no, 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 is the snip, snap, snip, snap, as we call it, or the snip, snap, bend it back, I like to call it. So I'm just going to press my tape on, all the way round, half on and half off. Snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap, snip. So now it's gone. Bend that back and stick your horn on. Stick it out at the side a little bit like that. Press all your tape down. And again, you can do it there as well. And you can see, actually, you're also making a triceratops this way. So I'm going to put that there. But ankylosaurs just have these two horn-like structures on the back of their heads. This is just accomplishing that. So snip. Snap, snip, snap, snip, snap. Bend those all out, just to stick on nicely. There we are, done. That one goes there. And stick those on those egg bits that are sticking up at the back of the head like that. That's that bit done. The next bit are what I call the scoots. These are these big bony plates going along the back. And the best thing for these are egg boxes. Just cut out the egg compartments. Now the trick here, obviously egg boxes are quite difficult really to cut because they're joined together. So just cut out the egg bit roughly like this and then it's a case of trimming it nicely all the way around. And any gaps you can now cover with a nice big chunk of tape. So leave the dinosaur alone actually, thank you. Um, Right, there's my little, oops, slippy. There's our little egg box bit there. Take your tape round to cover the holes of you've cut out. Like that. And again, it's that snip snap. So I'm just going to bend all that tape down nicely and press it on while I can get my thumb inside. Snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap. Bend my petals out. And now I'm going to stick the first scoot on. Now you can stick as many of these on as you like. Different ankylosaurs and different armoured dinosaurs like this have different uh, configurations of these scoots. So there's my first one on there. I'm going to do a load more. So rather than you wait for that, go off and I will have that done in a trice. Right, hi. Uh, what we're going to do is, as you can see, we put the scoots on there. Uh, they're now all the way across and I've got some little ones at the back and those are basically made with the inside of the egg box bit there look That's these just these points here. So just cut one or two of those off They're a bit finicky this so just watch it You can use a glue stick if you want to on these again I always use tape so I'm just gonna roll a bit of tape around there Put my finger inside the little scoot so I can press against something and then snip snap Snip, 
snap that off and that will stick those on. So it just means you've got those sort of big scoops on the shell here and then you can put little ones just on the back there, look. So we've got some little ones as well so that you get the big ones going to some smaller ones. And then we're basically at the tail end now. Ankylosaurus, Euplocephalus are known for this, the sort of ankle breaking weapon that they have at the back here on the tail to dissuade other dinosaurs from trying to eat them. Uh, basically, I've done that by rolling up a piece of newspaper into a ball. It's as simple as that. Roll a ball up of newspaper or scrap paper, get some tape and roll it round like this into a ball. That's it. Put some tape round, stick one on one side like that, press your tape down and stick your other one on the other side. And dinosaurs like this, use this to break the shins of other dinosaurs, but particularly ones that were trying to eat them. And uh, they were very vicious and effective weapons. And if you broke the shin of a big predator, it would die because it just couldn't catch its food. So they, they were quite vicious. And that is about the ankylosaur completed. What you want to do, is give it a nice paint job. I chose sort of a red and uh, red and yellow paint scheme there, make it very scaly and bumpy. You can put a frill of spines down here if you want, just cut out a zigzag out of some cardboard and just put it down the bottom there if you want to, either side, up to you, and it's up to the particular species of ankylosaur you want to create. But I think that's quite a nice and simple dinosaur build. So enjoy making your Ankylosaurus. Uh, yeah, great fun. Can I eat it? No, you can't eat it. What? And it would be very tough to eat. It's all bony. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>